just how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Tomorrow, yes, more Street Fighter Collection, and I think what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm going to do my first open lobbies. So I will create open lobbies in the games, probably Super Turbo to start, and just allow people to join me and challenge me and take me on and see what happens. See, you know, how will we go in an open lobby system? Will I dominate entirely? Will people be able to, to beat me? And, you know, it'll be pretty fun to do open lobbies, I think. Um, you know, this is what a lot of people have been waiting for. <laughs> Unbelievable. What a complete idiot. Don't buy me, I suck. Hardy Buck Cheerity says, were you ever get a new hamster? Uh, at this point, you know, I've talked it out with Cat about getting another small animal. Uh, where we, even though we would like to, I mean, this is the truth of the matter, all right? And this is, I know a lot of people, I have not talked about private stuff recently on purpose, but here's the truth of the matter, guys. Right now, financially, I'm not in a good situation. Um, I can basically pay the bills every month, but I'm just ba barely getting by. The IRS will destroy me if I don't pay my taxes. I don't have money. All my money has to go to these taxes. No lies because I need the money. Right now, with this whole tax situation I'm in, I need the money. Any, any tips sent to me, go straight to the taxes, 100%. Oh yeah, I'll never get in trouble for taxes. <laughs> and laughing it up, laughing it up because of the hideous scam of me saying that I had tax issues this year, right? Milk that fucking gravy train for as much money as you possibly can. L minimum effort, minimum money and time involved, maximum profit. With a lot of the stuff that's been going on behind the scenes, my, by the way, I haven't talked about this, my state taxes that I owe back taxes on, uh, they're basically demanding them right now, and I don't have the money. So I'm currently in a way of trying to figure out how to get by and not have the state screw me over here. Uh, I'm working with my tax attorney right now on that, and it looks like they're probably not going to accept the payment plan like I had hoped they wanted to, they would have. So I'm in a bad situation in regards to state tax. Oh, by the way, once I finally do resolve the state tax situation, then I need to resolve federal taxes. So basically, I don't have money. Like, a lot of people think, oh, Phil, he's a streamer, he uh, lives the life, right? I don't have any money. All the money I have goes straight to, the, to all these situations, all right? Me getting a pet right now probably would not make sense, since that's money that should be going towards more important things. And in particular, Kat and I have talked about getting a pet like a cat. And I would like to have a cat. I've never had a cat in my life. Cats can be really cool, passive pets. You don't really need to spend too much attention on them once they're, you know, adjusted to a home. Uh, they're pretty independent. They're not a lot of work. Um... And Kat, in particular, has had cats during her lifetime, and she likes them. And I said, I think that would be a cool pet for us to get. You know, I could bring the cat on stream every once in a while to hang out. You know. But, uh, the bottom line is the following. We're not going to do that until we get everything resolved. Like, I, we would love right now to say, let's get a pet. But, what happens if by the end of this year, and again, this is a worst case scenario, so knock on wood, this doesn't happen. Uh, streams, or, uh, streams on YouTube don't end up being as profitable as I hoped. I don't make enough money to pay my taxes. And now I'm in a situation where I'm screwed. Because if you don't pay your taxes, you're, you're completely boned in the United States. They'll put liens on your property. They'll screw you over completely, okay? Um, <clears throat> so that being said, there's a, a, a chance by the end of this year, I may not be able to live here anymore. I hate that to say that. <clears throat> After 10 years of working my ass off, you know? Wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. And in particular, right now, let's be honest, guys. Things are very positive. I don't want to be this have this be a downer to you guys. This is why I haven't been talking about it at all recently. But things have been great. Like I said, May has, was the best month so far this, this year. Things are great. People are coming out to the streams and contributing in a big way. You guys are helping me out tremendously. And don't think that your contributions aren't helping or anything like that or that I'm unappreciative. I am. That's why I'm not talking about this kind of stuff frequently anymore. I don't want to have you guys brought down by this stuff. It's my business, not really, not yours to, to be worrying about this, okay? This shocks me. But that being said, um, right, that being said, um, I don't want to get a pet, and then next thing you know, at the end of the year, that's it, I gotta put my house on the market, cause I can't pay the taxes on it, and, you know, you know I gotta sell the house to pay taxes, with the profit from the sale, 
and now we're moving from place to place, and a pet is now being in a house it just got used to. Now it has to be moved. It's just not worth it. You know, I told Kat, I said, listen, if we if we get to a situation here where now by the end of the year it looks like we're good and the taxes are great and we don't have to, we, everything's paid, no problems, sure, next year let's get a pet, let's do a few things, right? How can we have revenue streams from idiots? How do we fool the common moron into giving us money for zero effort so that you could all send me money? Like, my God, please, you gotta tip me because I have no money. You know how rude it is to ask people about money? You should not ask about fucking money. In but right now, everything's so uncertain because I don't know what the hell's going to happen financially between now and the end of the year. All right. So, it sucks. It really does suck. Like, I wish I had freedom over my life right now. I do not. I'm basically a slave to what happens financially between now and the end of the year. And that's why I'm not looking to get pets. I'm not looking to do any major investments, you know. Why doesn't Phil just splurge and buy a PS4 Pro to get rid of his audio issues? Because I can't. That Any money I get has to go towards these taxes so I can stay in this house, you know. <clears throat> so, that's the real talk, guys. All right. So that's the end of the Real Talk session. <laughs> I know I got heavy there for a second. Uh, I don't, like I said, I really talk about this stuff these days, but just wanted to kind of clarify everything. All right. All right. And the fan base literally just went and paid off all of the debt that I had had, right? Some disgusting individual who constantly is doing terrible things, right? And get excess views, excess money. Because it's big money to line their pockets with money with zero effort. Because they don't even have to give commentary. They just play the game and can't even give their opinion. <laughs> I mean, talk about any more kind of an easy life gravy train. If only we could just all do that, right? I'll play on stream. I don't even have to give any commentary to it. And I make thousands of dollars. Wow. What a life. The bottom line, guys, is... I hope that I can continue to be here and entertain you and be honest with you about games on a daily basis, you know, forever. As long as I want to do it. As long as I'm capable of doing it. I love this. I am where I am, and I'm happy to at least know that where I am is somewhere that I'm okay with. I can wake up every morning and say I'm okay with who I am and what I do. I play games for the love of the game, right? Primarily, that's what I do. And then when it comes around to, okay, yes, do every once in a while, do I have to make a business decision based off of income? Sure, that happens all the time. But at least I can say I'm here to enjoy gaming and have fun with you guys. And I did this before I ever made a penny doing it for years, you know, versus these people who just jump on the viral bandwagon of whatever's popular to make money. And then when that's not making them the big money anymore, they complain there's nothing to play. I mean, what a joke. I never used to be a business. Now I am. So I'll just say this. Guys, just be, beware of uh, basically fibbers. And some people actually believed me. <laughs> oh, people are just very gullible on the internet. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> they believed it and they bought it hook, line, and sinker because they're that stupid. They're that ignorant and stupid. They all bought it. So thank you guys for your support. We got a cheer from Kate. She says, what do you think about Roseanne getting canceled? I mean... All right, do you want my real opinion on the situation? First of all, I'm not racist, and I hate racism. I hate it. I know you're lying. I, but I do fully acknowledge there are people in this country that are racist and or have an ingrained culture of being prejudiced against people of certain races, okay? I'm not here to tell you if Roseanne is racist or not. I'm not, because I don't know her personally. But what I can tell you is if you follow Roseanne on Twitter, you will see that over the last four, five, six years, she's had a history of saying these insulting comments towards people of color, all right? She had, in 2013, she made a tweet about some woman having dangly ape balls. I'm not even kidding. Like, she said really messed up stuff on Twitter, okay? Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. She hasn't changed. It's not like Roseanne magically said, Oh, all of a sudden, I'm a social justice warrior, and now I'm going to get a new show on TV. She's always been this person. If you actually know Roseanne, you, and you've seen her and followed her, like, she's been like this her whole life. The difference now is that, you know, now we have social media, so when she says shit like that, everyone hears it, and everyone's like, oh shit, oh, she's actually a racist. You know, back in the day, when Roseanne was a stand-up comic, and then she got a television show, you didn't hear that kind of stuff in public, so there was no resonation chamber for her to say stuff like that, right? You know what I mean? Um, so all that being said, here's here's what I really think the true controversy should be about the whole situation. I don't, I completely disagree with her, I, I, I am not a racist, I, I think that she, the things she says are horrible, okay? I'm good at lying. <laughs> and I, but the thing is, she has a right to say them. What? The real issue here is ABC. All right. ABC, the television company, 
all right, that decided to give her a television show in 2018. Again, if you look back at Roseanne's Twitter history, you'll see that she's always been like this. She didn't change and all of a sudden start doing the horrible things or saying these horrible things. She's been saying them all along. So why in the flying fuck, if ABC didn't want to put up with that, why on earth would they sign her and cre- recreate her, t- her sitcom, right? Make it a mainstream television show that hits number one in the ratings and then pull the plug because she's saying racist things? She was saying them before. You know what I mean? Like, oh no, I heard that this guy's popular, this guy was popular back in the day, I'm gonna give him a television show, and do no fucking research whatsoever into it to find out who the person is, right? Give them the show, the show hits number one, now I'm all upset of stuff that they said online. You know what I mean? So, in in all honesty, I mean, yes, of course Roseanne is at fault, but when I read these stories vilifying Roseanne, I'm like, but this is who she always was. So, really, the real culprit, the real person at fault in all of this is ABC, because they're so fucking stupid. They gave her a fucking television show, not knowing who she was, not reading any of her tweets for the past five fucking years, and then they decide, oh, now we're going to punish her for it. Well, wait a minute. You're the idiot who gave her the show to begin with. You know, it's your fault. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just so stupid. Um, I re- And then I read, of course, social media blowing up one side or the other, and no one's debating this fact. And I'm reading it like, like people have completely missed the issue that this, this Hollywood studio is dumb as fuck. Like, how dumb can you be? I, I don't know. That's my take on it. Again, okay? The thing is, you know, as someone who's done stupid shit on Twitter, right? (laughs) Wow. I can understand it. Obviously, I have not systematically done the same thing on Twitter over and over and over like Roseanne does. A silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just going to say it one way, and hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. I mean, so obviously there's an ingraining there of some kind of prejudice she has against people of color. It's there. It's always been there. How ABC didn't fucking catch on to this before they gave her a television show is beyond me. It just sounds really stupid as hell. So there you go. (laughs) All right. Oh, wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, shout out to Flybeast who tipped me $100. Wow. (laughs) Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. Thank you very, very, very much. Let me get you up on the leaderboard for sure. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.